Jonathan and David were best friends. It didn't matter to Jonathan that one day David would be king over Israel and take the place of his own father, King Saul. Jonathan would always do what was best for his friend because he loved David and he knew that God was with him. King Saul, on the other hand, was so jealous of David that he wanted to kill him. David feared for his life. He asked Jonathan, Why is your father trying to kill me? And what have I done to make him so angry? Jonathan was surprised by David's question. How do you know my father wants to kill you? He promised me he was not mad at you anymore and would never hurt you. But David was convinced that Saul hated him. So the two of them came up with a plan that would prove whether or not David was in real trouble with King Saul. When they were done discussing the plan, David hid and Jonathan returned home to his father. And so the plan moved forward. David did not show up for an important dinner with the king and his family, even though everyone expected to see him. If the king asked why David was not at the dinner, Jonathan was to tell the king that he was attending the feast with his own family. The hope was to find out whether Saul would be angry with David or not. As the dinner went on, the king could not help but notice that David was not sitting in his place at the table. He asked Jonathan, Where is David, and why is he not here? Jonathan wasn't even finished explaining when the king became very angry. He was so filled with hate that he picked up his spear and hurled it at his own son. Jonathan knew without a doubt that David was in real danger. David, still hiding, waited for the signal that would tell him whether or not it was safe for him to come out. Jonathan would shoot three arrows close to the target if David was safe, but he would shoot them past the target if he was still in danger. Jonathan shot the arrows far into the distance. David now knew the truth. Saul wanted to murder him. As soon as he was sure he would not be seen by anyone else, David came out from where he was hiding and he fell on his face to the ground before Jonathan, filled with love and thankfulness for what his friend had done for him. The two friends held each other and cried over Saul's actions. The king had not only rejected David, but wanted him killed. Now the two friends and their two families would be separated forever. David cried even more than Jonathan. So Jonathan truly loved David as his own soul. He knew that God was with David and that he would be king over Israel. Not only had Jonathan protected David with his own life, but he continued to stand by David to the very end. The last recorded words of Jonathan to his beloved friend were, Do not fear my father, for you are destined to be king, and I will be second to you. Even my father knows this.